The fact that lawmakers held this hearing during the interim between legislative sessions means a lot. This is the time that lawmakers are looking at issues like crime and violence that they want to address through legislation and the budget. We just want to be on the front line to let them know there's choices. Activist Christopher 2X says even when children are not hit by bullets, the mere exposure to gunfire is another kind of trauma. Bullets enter into their dwellings, into their homes, hearing gunshots at nighttime. Actually, in school season, where they have to refocus their whole mental health efforts. The Future Healers program he's involved in partners with UofL Hospital to show kids a brighter future is possible. Health Services Chair Kim Moser says that setting is appropriate. It might seem strange to have a, a hearing on violence in health services, but we know that violence in, and all of the varying, uh, varying um, facets that, that we see, all the different types of violence that we see certainly affect health. The Children's Home of Northern Kentucky talked about how they partner with schools to offer mental health counseling. And a group called ION trains teenagers and adults to prevent and interrupt domestic violence, sexual assault, and similar crimes. If we engage those bystanders, give them skills, tools, and confidence to do that, we truly do have safer communities. 2X says prevention is less expensive than responding to violence. The hope that we're trying to bring to this conversation is the platforms we built. At a time when Kentucky is seeing budget surpluses, many are hopeful lawmakers will spend extra on the front end. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.